Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, one of the uh, subscribers has asked, Chris, it's taking me an extra shot to get to the green. So what does that mean? For most of us, it's not an extra shot because this person is, you know, they hit it out of bounds or they did something crazy. They just don't have enough distance to be able, they're, they're having to add, like on a par four, they're having to add that third shot just to get to the green. And now they're, instead of putting for birdie, they're putting for bogey. I mean, or instead of putting for birdie, they're putting for par. And then a lot of times, because they're, maybe their putting's gonna be off or whatever, they're gonna end up with a bogey instead of saying, well, if I miss the birdie, I end up with a par. But if you're putting for par and you miss it, you end up with a bogey. So when, when I was first learning how to play golf, I had to put my ego out of the way. Had to put my ego out of the way. So if I was standing up there and saying, okay, I'm gonna hit my seven iron, it's playing about, I don't know, let's say the hole is playing 180. So I can, from there, I can pull out, you know, I don't know, let's say a stock seven iron, whatever, and I can make my swing, okay? But if I know that I'm only hitting my seven iron 140, Okay, just as a beginner, I'm only hitting 140. Well, instead of me going, okay, I'm gonna allow my ego to come in because my friends are hitting their seven irons 150, 155. Well, I'm gonna swing that same seven iron and hope I get the same results as them. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, okay? What is gonna happen, well, instead of me saying I need to hit my seven iron, I might have to hit my six. I might have to hit my five. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all get caught up on, well, the tour averages when they hit this club or that. Great. They are not you. You are not them. So your objective is not to sit there and say, well, I'm hitting my seven iron 155 yards on the range. So, man, when I get out on that golf course, that's your number. So if the hole is 170 yards and you're thinking, well, God, man, they're hitting this seven iron like 180, 185, some of them 190, whatever. Doesn't matter. It, what matters is your game. And here's the funny part about it. The more you, you have to have a starting point. And that starting point for this individual might be they only hit their seven iron 140 yards. Okay, so from there, what we really need to be working on is our mechanics and this motion that becomes more dynamic. And the more I get better at making the motion, the more and more I'm going to start understanding the sweet spot of the club. The more I'm gonna start understanding what's really driving this with this acute angle change of the pelvis that causes the snap head stand behind the ball, all these different mechanical things. But as you're starting off and you're going through this game and you're looking to improve, what you have to understand, do not let your ego get in the way. Let me tell you something. If I don't care what club I'm hitting, I don't care if the hole is 150 yards, I don't care if it's 400, 500 yards away. My goal is to take whatever club I can from the situation that I'm at to either hit it the furthest I can, which is, that's my limitations. That's me playing my game, not getting caught up in everybody else's. So I hit my drive, boom, I'm off to the races. So let's say I come down, I hit my drive, now let's say I'm 150 out. Well, if I know I can only hit my seven iron 140 yards, I have to put that out of my head and go, okay, maybe it's a six. Maybe the pen is in the back. Maybe it's actually a five iron because the green's elevated and I had to add plus 10 because the flag is in the back. So now that 155 shot, because the pen's in the back, now becomes a 165 shot and I'm got to take the elevation in and all these different things that make me add and multiply five and 10 yards to the different shots in my approaches. Get your ego out of the way. Hit whatever club you know is going to allow you to get to that distance. Get your ego out of the way. But then from there, the more you start working on these motions on the driving range, the better you start becoming as a player the better things are gonna start happening. The more these 
things are gonna happen with your swing speed. Now there's swing speed training and all this stuff, okay? And you can go into that and look at some of the other videos online that deal with speed training, but that's not really it, you know? Because I can sit there, make, have a, let's just say an average swing, whatever, most of our, our recreational players swing, and I can come through there and I can hit it. And let's say my swing is only, I don't know, let's say it's 85 miles an hour. Okay, but if I start sequence, that says, let's say it's 85 miles an hour or whatever. So let's, I don't know what club we'd be hitting or whatever. But anyways, if I hit that club and my swing speed is 85 miles an hour and I'm able to get the center of mass in my body and that club face to match up at the right time, I will automatically hit that ball 10 yards further without an increase in my swing speed. So what I'm trying to get you to understand here is you got to get your ego out of the way. You've got to work on making better motions, better dynamic motions on the driving range. But then when you're on the course until you really have full ownership of that on the driving range, take an extra club, take two extra clubs. And what you will start finding is there's no more ego. I don't care what my friends are hitting because one of the rules in golf, we have maybe sometimes, we'd, hey, buddy, what'd you hit, man? Well, I hit a seven iron. Or would you, I hit a four iron on that shot. Well, in real life, you're not supposed to ask somebody what they're hitting. You're not playing. I mean, you could talk to your caddy about it all day long, but not another player. So is that player really concerned about what you're hitting, what club you're hitting? Hell no. They are concerned about what they're doing. You be concerned about what you're doing so that your score doesn't get away from you. So if I take an extra club or two extra clubs and I get on the green on that second shot, now I'm putting for birdie. And if I miss it, I'm going to make par. But if I get my ego in there and go, gosh, this hole is 155, I'm going to pull the seven iron that I can only hit 140, bang, wrong club, here comes the extra shot. You just have to get your ego out of the way and start clubbing up to be able to get you where you got to go. So hopefully that's going to help. We'll look for you in the next video.